good morning here today's topic is barnes equation along a streamline previous to this video uh euler's equation of motion of course fluid motion euler's equation of fluid motion was derived and this was the equation okay del v del t plus v del v del s is equal to minus 1 by rho del p del s minus g dz ds this was the equation where v is the velocity okay t is time of course this v is velocity along the streamline okay along the streamline v is velocity small d is time s stands for streamline and t is pressure rho is density and z is the elevation okay and g is acceleration due to gravity so this equation was derived so for the derivation of barnoulli equation along stream line first of all you need to derive euler's equation of motion means this equation after that you can derive barnoulli equation by using this one okay so to uh for the derivation of euler's equation of motion along a stream line you can watch my uh, previous video okay so after that i am starting here so this was the equation and uh, the fluid element which was taken was like this this is the streamline okay this is the streamline and a cylindrical fluid element was taken for consideration okay cylindrical fluid element so this was the type of fluid element which was used for the derivation of this equation now for the derivation of barnoulli equation there are four assumptions which are made first assumption is the flow is along a stream line okay flow is along a stream line second is flow is steady okay flow is along a stream line flow is steady then flow is incompressible here it is steady okay steady here it is incompressible incompressible okay and it is here along a streamline flow is along a streamline flow is steady flow is incompressible and one more assumption is there what is that the flow is inviscid inviscid means means non viscous okay in this it means non viscous so these are the four assumptions which are made for the derivation of barnoulli equation so here you can see since the flow is steady therefore for steady flow you know that time derivative of any flow variable must be zero and you can see this is time derivative that means this will be zero okay this will be zero this will be zero right and it is incompressible that means this rho this rho which is density of the fluid it is a constant quantity since it is incompressible and since it is inviscid so already in the derivation of euler's equation of motion the flow was assumed to be inviscid uh, inviscid okay there is no effect of viscosity and you will see that there is no term which relates viscosity okay so viscosity term is already absent in euler's equation of motion so these are the four assumptions which are made for the derivation of barnoulli equation so just by doing this so we have got that this uh, this is zero so these are the remaining terms for first term second term and third term so from here what we are getting take all these terms in the left hand side then we are getting 1 by rho del p del s right 1 by rho del p del s plus v del v del s plus g dz ds as dz ds is equal to 0 right and and since the flow is steady uh, previously in this equation p this is pressure it was a function of 
streamline and time okay the velocity v it was also a function of streamline and time but since the flow is steady this one okay second assumption since the flow is steady therefore from here we can write p is a function of only one thing and that is that is what that is streamline and from here we can write that v is only a function of streamline since the flow is steady okay therefore these partial derivatives can be replaced by ordinary derivative okay since it is a function of only one value so in the next line by using this logic you can write this del p del s you replace this del p del s by dp ds here also you do the same thing you write dp ds plus g dz ds okay and you now integrate both side of this equation okay so 1 by rho dp ds uh, sorry not del it is d dp ds ds plus v dv ds ds plus g dz ds and here ds and here what will be there there will be a constraint of integration c okay c is a constraint of integration so since rho is a constant therefore what is the uh, result i need to erase the top portion here okay this is no more Required. Right. So from here we can write the first term. Rho is a constant. So that is p by rho. That is the integration. Here we are getting v square by two, and here we are getting g z. It is equal to. constant so this is barnoulis equation along a streamline okay the same equation can be used another way also can be written another way also just you divide both side of this by uh, by g okay g means this g okay so what you are getting p by rho g plus p square by 2g plus j and here c by g that is equal to another constant that is equal to another constant say that is denoted by c1 both forms are used but but in most of the cases this form is used as barnoulis equation okay it is your choice which form you want to use you can use this form you can also use this form okay here in the left hand side you can see that z is there so z this can be written as mgz divided by divided by mg mgz is what that is potential energy and mg is what that is weight therefore here this term represents what potential energy per unit weight that means in the left hand side each term is energy per unit weight okay each term represents energy per unit weight this is pressure energy per unit weight this is v square is there so this is kinetic energy per unit weight and this is potential energy per unit weight and here you can see that gz you just consider this one gz gz this can be written as mgz divided by m m is what in the denominator m appears m is what that is mass so here this is what and mgz is potential energy therefore it is potential energy per unit mass okay similarly this is kinetic energy per unit mass and here this is pressure energy per unit mass okay so in this form each term represents energy per unit mass and in this form of barnoulis equation each term represents energy per unit weight that is the only difference okay and it is your choice which form you want to use for the calculation but or to solve any uh, numerical problem okay so this is the end of this lecture and this is barnoulis equation okay and this
this is Bernoulli's equation along a streamline. For any streamline, this constant, the value of the constant will remain same. Okay, along the streamline. All along the length of the stream, streamline, the value of this constant will remain same. But if you change the streamline, then that value will be different. Okay. Okay. So this is the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching this video. Have a beautiful day.